between now Jenny Keeman and Mark Wallace. I'm going to quote the Prime Minister. It's time, he said, to bung a bob for a big Ben Bong. That's quite hard to actually <laughs> trip off the tongue, that one. Anyway, made the front pages, of course. So what, what should happen and what do some people feel about it? <laughs> Jenny? <laughs> I, just, I just, I'm sorry, I want to dwell on the language of this front page again. Sorry, it's <laughs> remarkable. When the clock strikes 11 p.m. on January the 31st, our blessed freedom from the confines of Brussels, Brussels will be secure True. and a new chapter in the great <laughs> history of this nation will begin. Correct. As a potent symbol of this landmark moment, one thing is certain, Big Ben must bong for Brexit. Ambivalent. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> madness. This is the kind of crazy uh, pro-Brexit rhetoric that has uh, that is so easily lampooned and that the Daily Express specialises in. If there is going to be a crowdfunding campaign to mm. pay for this, mm. fair enough. People who really care about this, put your hand in your pocket for it. Go for it. I do think what would really help on the 31st of January is... I, I know a lot of people who are Remainers are still very sore about this. Mm. There are also a lot of people, and I would count myself as one of them, who, you know, we have to accept the fact that there's a very large mandate for Brexit now and we're going to move on. It would be great if there was something a bit more warm than this kind of bonkers rhetoric going around just to say we're all going to move forward together rather than rah, rah, up Does, does this rub faces in it, do you think? I, I, I think, I think it's a wild overreaction. I'm, I'm obviously a very strong believer. I'm, I, don't, freedom. I don't mind too much if Big Ben, if Big Ben was working and it was basically free to make it go bong, then that would be fine. If uh, I, I wouldn't want to spend taxpayers' money on this, given that it's the middle of the works. If you want to crowdfund it, they can do oh, that. I've got better stuff to do with my own money, personally. But I don't think it's actually... If it was to happen, I don't think it'd be rubbing anyone... It's no offence for people to celebrate, find this finally happening, no, particularly given... except them. some people really don't... I'm not saying... I, well, that's fine, and yeah. they're, well, they're, they're entirely free not to celebrate, but I think it's weird frankly, to say, you know what, after three years of bitter, bitter battling at huge cost to our social cohesion in an effort to try and prevent a promise to, to honour a referendum being kept, that at the end of that, it's totally unreasonable of any lever to be kind of happy in public. About I, I, eventually I'm this not happening. saying that, though, at all. Okay. And I'm not even talking so, about the bongs here. I'm talking about this ridiculous Daily Express front page. I think, so, I think democratic self-government is a, is a really is important... Is it our blessed freedom from the confines? I mean, I mean, the thing is, I think it's different... I think you certainly are entitled to really celebrate because you really believe and have believed in Brexit for a really long time. But I do think there are a lot of people who have oh. just jumped on the crazy jingoistic yeah. bandwagon. What is this. crazy is after three and a half years, it's come down to a bong, isn't oh, it? Really? Yes. Um, very funny to our last story, the new James Bond yes. will be with an 18-year-old uh, very, very quickly. Billie Eilish, I am now officially old enough to be the mother of the person who is singing the James Bond song. I'm now old enough that I'm going to have to Google who she is. Yeah. So, <laughs> there you go. Time to finish. Uh, Mark and Jenny, as ever. Thank, thank you. you.